Welcome to Packet Smart's Quick Reviews. In this session, we're going to demonstrate how to do a packet capture utilizing Packet Smart's GUI. What you want to do is find the location of the device that you want to actually do the packet capture on. Find that device, and then make sure once you've clicked on this device that you're on the current date, because obviously if the packets uh, that you're trying to capture are from a previous date, it's not going to work. So make sure you're on the current date. You want to go over to the traffic flows, and what I've told all clients, always make sure that you've got traffic there that's present on the recapture. Otherwise, you'll have no capture. And you can see here a lot of TCP traffic and some VoIP traffic in here. We want to go ahead and do some capture of this call that's in progress right now. All you need to do is go to the packet capture. You have an option. It's, it's a five, it's a four-step process. You can limit the duration. You can do a total size. You cannot exceed 1,000, though. That's the maximum amount of capture, which is one meg on board or you can set for a limited pack account. Uh, in this example, I'll do a short duration here. We're going to do a 60 second cap capture here. We have the option of doing just the packet headers or you have the ability to do full frames. We'll go ahead and select full frames. On step three, you can go ahead and select the IP from a source or a port location on either uh, locations for destination or source. You also have the ability to selecting a protocol that you want to filter on. The first capture you always want to do all only that way you can verify that you are getting a good capture. So put in a um, a good description here, and we're going to go ahead and do a capture right now. We're going to kick this off. We're going to submit the capture. There's your limitation of one meg. Go ahead and confirm that. Once you've done that, you want to proceed up to the control tab to make sure that this command has been issued. And there you go. It's been queued up and run. And this will take anywhere from 15 to 25 seconds. What's important right now is that this capture is not happening instantaneously. The command gets executed to the device, and it could take up to 30 seconds before it actually starts capping, before it starts capturing data. So make sure that when you actually get a command that says it's done, and you've actually got it queued up here, that you know that that's the start time for the actual capture. And a lot of times you'll see this in a queue, but if you go back to the packet capture and actually get the capture here, you'll see that this is in a queue right now and this will change to where it will actually be queued out and telling you that the device is running. So you want to make sure this captured. There you go. It's being executed right there. So this is the time of the execution and that's the point of which you want to make sure the traffic you're trying to capture started at that point or latter for that 60 seconds. So we know the capture is working. We want to go back here and see if it's actually running. There it is. It's in progress. It's also fi the file is actually completed. So click on the completed file. All you need to do is get this file. And I typically uh, will download this on my desktop so we can find the location. And I'll I call it PCAP full frames. And we save the file. And there you go, the file's been saved. Now, once that file's there, you can literally go to either Ethereum or Wireshark to open it to look at the packets. And that's all it is to doing a packet capture. It's that simple. Thank you.